So, Saran Raiders J, would you like to hop into my hot tub time machine? I did not know you had a hot tub time machine. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I've had it all these years. I've just been keeping it a secret because I didn't want you to be suspicious. I didn't want the viewer to be suspicious. But I figured since we're reviewing this movie, Fuck it, I figured it's the time, man. You wanna do it? Yes. Then let's go! Well, here it goes, man. It looks like a bathtub instead of a hot tub. Ah, but you would think it's an ordinary bathtub when it's a time machine. What year do you wanna travel to? I see, 1955. Then let's go ahead and do that, man. Alright dude, let's go into 955. Yeah. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm joined by my guest star. So the honor is Jay everybody. <laughs> and the two of us are here to review Hot Tub Time Machine 2? Yeah, there's a second one. Hot Tub Time Machine 2 has a returning cast of Craig Robinson, Rob Corddry, and Clark Duke. John Cusack does not come back with on this one, but the three from the first one do. The plot is about when everything in life is going good for the whole gang. Lou is throwing this big party, but then he gets shot in the dick. But we don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not joking, that's actually the plot, ladies and gentlemen, just bear with me. But he gets shot in the dick, so Lou, Nick, and Jacob, they go into, guess what, the hot tub time machine because they want to go back into the past, but instead they end up in the future. So they have to alter the future in order to save the past, which is really the present, the day that Lou got shot in the dick. So honestly, going into hot tub time machine to, I I really was not looking forward to this movie. I thought it actually looked really bad from the trailers. Even though, I'll be honest, I wasn't a fan of the original movie. I just thought that one was okay. You know, it wasn't terrible, but it just wasn't really my cup of tea. You mean it wasn't your type of time? Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> For the original, I enjoyed it. I had my good flaps here and there during the beginning towards the end, even the storyline was good. I was interested in, uh, in the second one because I was, wanted to see how the storyline was into it. So now that I've seen Hot Tub Time Machine 2, this movie was surprisingly okay. It's surprisingly an okay movie. I didn't hate it like I thought I was, thank goodness. But just like with the original, yeah, it's okay. I think it's about the same range as the original, in my opinion. I even told him before I went in, as long as I find it okay, that's honestly a positive with me right there. I'd rather take an okay movie over a terrible movie. So what about you? How'd you feel about the sequel? I actually enjoyed it. Okay. Nice. I enjoyed it, but even though it had a few parts of flaws, but uh, I enjoyed it. But overall, you did have a good time. Yes. Yes, I can't deny, there were some parts that did make me laugh, and the laughs were there for me, they were pretty good. And I did like Craig Robinson, I mean Craig Robinson, he's just one of those likable dudes, he just looks like someone you could just hang out with and have a nice cup of tea with, you know? Yeah. So Craig Robinson, I definitely really enjoyed him, and Clark Duke, well, I may not be a fan of him personally, I actually enjoyed him in this movie too, he was also very likable. Then for the final good thing I do have to say about the movie is that I did like the movie references, just like with the original, you know, yeah. the original references movies, yeah. this one does the same thing. I liked it because it kept like the same... I guess like similar humor as the first one. I like the way they they put it, like the way they actually make fun of each other a lot more than the first one. The acting was really good, even the I guess the way they made the hot tub more classic. The cast uh, was really good. Everything went like I guess the writers wanted it to be. Yeah. So uh, it went perfectly well. The writing of it, I enjoyed it. Like it made a great humor into it for everyone and for like I guess for the crew, the cast and the crew. Yeah. And for the audience as well. Now for my cons with this movie, I do feel like most of the humor really does come off as forced. They just 
they just really didn't work for me. I, Rob Cordery, I like Rob Cordery. I think he's a funny dude. I've liked him in the movies I've seen him in so far. But uh, his character, Rob Cordery himself, I, he does a pretty good job. But his character, he's really unlikable. Like, he's such a douchebag to um, his friends and his son his son and i i just didn't like the character and it was in the trailer but that part where he's like boops 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 i'm just like dude just just shut up just shut up adam scott who plays john cusack's son he's the son of john cusack in this movie he was very out of place i felt like he didn't quite feel in this movie. I could tell he had fun making this movie. Without a doubt, I could tell he had fun. He's decent, but I think he's just really miscasted in this movie. The storyline, it's not anything too special. It's just there to keep the overall flow of the movie going with the characters and the whole storyline with the future, how they have to alter the future to save that present day. Yeah, it just keeps things going and that's really it. The final negative I did have with this movie is just how there's a couple of unneeded violent moments. I just didn't like at the ending at all. Because I guess they could have done something a little bit something else instead of that last part. That, that certain situation. Yeah. That was just so like... Mm. I guess it went over violent. Yes, yes. And, that has, and that's fine how you point out because that actually was one of the very couple of moments that I thought was violent in an unneeded way. Yeah, they could have done some, a little bit something different than that last part. I think the drugs were a little bit too forced in, like how it's going to be in the future. It was a little bit too much over... The, the whole drug aspect? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think that was like, over, like, overdue because, you know... It was far-fetched. Yeah. That's where it just got really dumb. Yeah, so it made me I was like, oh, okay, then it seems like the future is going to be dumber as it is. So... Overall, you guys, Hot Tub Time Machine 2 was surprisingly just an okay movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was alright. It was okay. It was fine. So, I'm going to give Hot Tub Time Machine 2 2 out of 4 stars. I think if you like the original, you're going to like the sequel. It does have your same humor. But if you just didn't really care for the original, then you're most likely not going to really care for the sequel either. I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Comment down below and let me know. What did you think of Hot Tub Time Machine 2? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And how does it compare to the original film for you? Thank you very much, Serrano J, for joining me in this review. You're welcome. So, everyone, this is me, 22 Tiger Dude, and this is... Serrano Reyes J. And don't forget that the two of us will always have... The best time machine ever. Nope. Tiger power. As this dude <laughs> said it right here, tiger power. Hmm. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.